this person was asking, how do you keep that in check? And it's like the overflow of joy. It really is. We get to be a part of this unanimous song where I might start the first note, but you guys are the ones who carry it. And we all live in the same moment together. And it's something so profound. And I feel like I, I get a little bit of taste of what God talks about when he talks about the unity of the body. Whenever we're all together and we're in one accord, how it brings so much delight to him. It feels like that in moments like this. Because I look across, let me just tell you what it looks like from my perspective. And y'all have, I have bright lights in my face so I can't see everybody real clear. But for what I can see, I just see people's faces and their expressions. And they're not watching me, they're engulfed in what God is doing in their heart. And I can see in every person's face the story of what a song has meant to them because God met them in that moment. God met them when they heard the song. And I'll never forget the first time that I, I met this girl. Well, I say that I met her because in my head, she's so real to me. But she was actually on the radio. Um, you know how people are like, oh my gosh, she's my best friend. No, you just scroll her Instagram, stop it, sit down, get away. But there was this girl on um, the radio station and my mom and my sister called me, it was like midnight. And I forgot what city I was in, but I had a unicorn onesie and I left that unicorn onesie in that Tagum hotel. It was the best. Anyway. And, uh, my mom and sister are on the other line, and they're like, Lauren, you're never gonna believe what we just heard. And I was so new. I was like brand new. I was just green, just like, come, let me tell you. I didn't even know what CCM was. I was like, what does that stand for? Raise your hand if you know what that is. Best. It's the best. Music is being the one. CCM stands for Contemporary Christian Music. And I was in Contemporary Christian Music, and I didn't even know what it stood for. And uh, I pick up the phone and I had just finished the show. I was brand new. I think I sang two songs opening for like Jason Gray or Aaron Schuster or something. I don't remember. And uh, at that point, it was like those hours. And I don't know if anybody's ever experienced this where you just long for someone that you love to experience with you what you just experienced. That feeling of like, golly, I wish, I wish my family, I wish the ones back home knew what I was getting to do every night and what I'm able to see and how cold snow actually is. Because <laughs> it was negative 18 when we were in Wisconsin, Minnesota, sorry, it was Minnesota. And I'll tell you something, my swamp boots have never touched ice water so cold in all my life. <laughs> I forget that it is water. Because ours is so hot, it's like a bathtub. And I appreciate it dearly. Anyway, I'm in the moment in the hotel. Unicorn onesie, probably on soon. And my mom and sister are on the other line, and I'm in that moment of like, oh gosh, I wish that they could just be with me. And my mom says, you're never gonna believe what we just heard. On the radio, there was a girl who was going, she called in, she said she was going to commit suicide. And right before the act, a song came on the radio. And I don't, I think she said she didn't even have her radio on. It just came through the radio. And um, it was, how can it be? And she decided to not commit suicide, not go through with it. And called in the radio station and said, like, I don't know what that was. And I say that not to exalt any single thing that I've ever done because I'm, I mean it when I say that it is the beauty of God meeting with people through a song and sitting with them in a moment. And the thing about music that's so beautiful is you cannot even know the English language and God can still show up in rhythm, rhyme, and melody. And there's something really profound about that. And um, anyway, I'm gonna I digress. The bottom line is, if anybody is in here tonight and you're feeling like, golly, I feel like I might be able to relate to that girl that called in that radio station. 
then we're just going to sing this bridge and the chorus one more time. And whatever God needs to do to your heart in this moment, or how he might need to tell you that you're loved, or you're worth so much more, um, we're just going to let him meet with you right now. And if that's not you, and if there's not a daggone person in the room, well, at least it'll feel good to sing it one more time. But I think that God can meet with people through the power of a song. And I feel like he can teach us something new, even if we've heard a song a million times. It's the beauty of him renewing our minds daily. And it's the beauty of us seeking after him like treasure, like hidden silver and gold. My lip just popped with the air bubble in it. I can't like that when I was saying the word silver. And it's because I brushed my teeth right before the show. And I feel so bad for every person that's on the front row because I keep spitting. It just won't come, it won't stop. And like poor big cat over here, I'm sorry. Whatever happens, happens. But I want to get so close to God that I can like hear the squeak. <laughs> and God is fun and he's funny. And I like joy. And the joy of the Lord is my strength. And it's why I get excited about what I get to do. And it's why I get excited about all of us being together. And if that's you, we're just going to allow the music to play and God to just do his thing that he does best. And you can respond however you want. You can run around. You can sit down. You cannot know who God is at all. And we are still absolutely widely accepting of you being here. We're glad that you're here. And um, this is The Bridge. Sing it with us. Here 